I didn't think I'd love Clan Oconal and the Crown of the Stag as much as I did, but it's really hard to fault this game. It's fun, it's bright, it's beautiful, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and its constantly changing mechanics keep it from being repetitive. It's easy to see this game as superficial due to its graphics and lighthearted humor. However, so many of the characters, bosses and environments have been painstakingly researched to make sure it connects with Celtic mythology. All up, playing multiple badass characters as I traversed around a gorgeous, vibrant world was a lot of fun, and I highly recommend this action-adventure indie game. This 2D platformer initially drew me in with its amazing art design. It reminds me of 90s Cartoon Network shows like Powerpuff Girls and Johnny Bravo, yet with a slight retro 60s vibe. The game's added Celtic mythology is also super interesting and all the rage at the moment. You just have to look at games like Hades and the Assassin's Creed series to see that we gamers love a bit of mythology mixed in with our gameplay. The story takes a backseat in this action-adventure puzzle game where you play as three siblings, Kilcannon, Clackshot, and Haggish, all heir to Chief Arden's throne. They are on the hunt for Kaoranak, the mother of demons, who has possessed and kidnapped their father and king. His capture means that the world of Hibernia, the classic Latin name for the island of Ireland, has been thrown into chaos. Only by rescuing their father and the crown of the stag will peace once again fall between the mortals and Ausi, the fairy folk. You traverse around this fairy land and come across foes and many obstacles to overcome for the crown. To successfully traverse the land of Hibernia you'll need lots of mad skills, and that's where the game's most entertaining and iconic mechanic comes into play. You can easily switch between the Okonal clan on the fly, utilizing their special skills to solve puzzles and kill baddies. Kill Cannon, the beefy sword master, was my go-to battle guy. He has quick sword play and the ability to blade dash through enemies, so he was often the best choice for skirmishes. Clackshot, the female of the group, wields a bow and arrow and is great for shooting down distant or flying enemies. She also can jump super high so she's great at platforming and getting to hard to reach places. Haggish is the brawn of the group and probably my favorite overall, as he seems to have the most personality. His unruly beard and one bulge eye make him look like he's seen his share of bar fights. However, one of his skills is the ability to twirl, which acts as a dodge mechanic. Not only can this dude twirl like a pro, but he can also smash down blue walls and break the armor of enemies wielding shields. The game is sectioned off into three chapters with a number of levels in each. Each level sees you collecting fairies, which are sparkly golden and tiny. These creatures are sometimes right in front of you and other times in hard to reach places. There is a count on the top right side of the screen that shows how many fairies you have collected compared to how many fairies there are total. There's a similar count for how many enemies you've killed and how many secrets you've collected. Secrets are represented by a gremlin-looking dude with a knapsack over his shoulder that is always hard to get to. Once you do reach him, however, he disappears and you gain his knapsack. After each level, you receive extra fairies for the amount of secrets you've collected and enemies you've killed. These fairies then go towards leveling the three Okonals and also giving them extra skills. These skills include Clackshot being able to double jump and Haggish Twirl being able to beat away projectiles. Not only do you earn skills via fairies, but throughout your journey, each of your characters will be gifted a new skill by a kind spirit that helps you make your way across new areas of Hibernia. For example, Red Vines appear and Kill Cannon now has the ability to dash and slash through them. Due to this new skill, Red Vines are now introduced to Hibernia's flora, and they become gradually harder to reach, further testing out Kill Cannon's slashing abilities. Sometimes the mechanics, like Clackshot's ability to grapple onto hooks, can be a bit fiddly. In some parts of the game, you need to switch between characters mid-air and pressing Clackshot's grapple ability didn't always work. It took a few times to get it right, but once I did, I entered a flow state and was on my merry way. A number of hours into the game a new mechanic is introduced that only lets you play as one character at a time. 
When you walk through a barrier containing the color associated with one of the Okonals, it will switch to that character, and you will be unable to switch to another unless you find the barrier containing their color. This barrier can be accessed by using the skills of the particular Okonal you are stuck as. It's these kinds of changes throughout the gameplay that keeps the experience fresh and far from boring. It also helps to make this one of my favorite games of 2021 so far.